U.S. Third Fleet held a change of command and retirement ceremony aboard USS Ronald Reagan. As we all know in the Navy, things come and go, like the tides in this wonderful harbor. So as we sadly say goodbye to one officer, one superb officer, we're reassured that there's a highly qualified relief just waiting to step into the job. Vice Admiral Gerald R. Steamer Beeman commanded the Navy's largest numbered fleet during dozens of major exercises. He has ensured our forces are ready to meet the demands of this uncertain world we live in, not just in the Indo-Asia Pacific region, but for places of consequence around the globe. Vice Admiral Kenneth E. Floyd plans to continue to provide realistic, relevant training to naval forces preparing to head west, while being a voice for sailors operating in the Eastern Pacific. Here on America's front porch to the Pacific, we represent the strength and resolve of our nation. Our credible combat capability reassures our friends and neighbors and deters those who would do us harm. Following the change of command, Beeman was recognized for his 35 years of honorable and dedicated service. Vice Admiral Beeman. Dad. We stand relieved. We have the watch. It has been an honor and a privilege to have served you and our country. And may God bless each and every one of you, the 58,000 men and women that represent Third Fleet, this great Navy of ours, and may God bless America. For U.S. Third Fleet, I'm Petty Officer Justin Webb.